Welcome to the Weisse Rose Berlin. Uh, and tonight we have a Metal Live Zone event. And uh, first off, a band from Berlin, New Creed. Uh, for starters, guys, uh, what can you tell me about your band as a <laughs> new fan? As a new fan? So <clears throat> we started out as a school band, like pretty young, and we've been making music for like three years together, I think now. It started out like with rock and then when it m went more dark and now we do like death metal, kind of progressive death metal and that's where we feel comfortable and we love doing this a lot, <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, you played in Rock Treff uh, this yes. summer, uh, how was that experience? <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, I, <laughs> no, I, I liked it pretty much because um, we haven't played these many like outside shows, like only like once or twice, I think. And there were many people, and it was pretty really nice experience. And yeah, it's, it was like organized by like people who do it like without money. So it's not clear if it will happen again next year. And it's been pretty cool to be part of that. And I hope that it continues forever because it's a nice chance for like smaller bands to play a huge gig on a great stage with a great team. That's my experience with Rock Trap. Yeah, for me it was also really cool because. It felt so professional, kind of, and all the, I don't know, the whole thing with backstage area and everything. And, and uh, we played in front of a quite big audience, so, and the weather was fantastic. Yeah. And yeah, it felt like um, being a professional, I think. So <laughs> it was a great opportuni opportunity for us, and yeah, we were happy to, to play there. Okay, and what is uh, important for you? in your live gigs? What makes a good gig for you? Um, I think the most important thing is to have fun on stage and before and afterwards. And the organization is really important. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, which just mm. weird, Yeah, for me it's important to have a, a good, um, good sound engineers and everything so that the that everything works uh, well on stage, that you hear each other uh, well. So that's, yeah, if that's the case, then it's most of the time it's getting a good gig and then, yeah, of course, the atmosphere and the people. But I have to say that almost all the time we have really great audience and people who are really cheering and, um, yeah, so we are also thankful for um, these um, people we, yeah, we see at our shows. Okay, and uh, your music, it's an interesting mixture of things. So uh, where do you get the inspiration and uh, what are your influences? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you can see, of course, I'm a big Riverside fan, but most, I think the band that had most influence probably would be Opeth in that case. But um, I don't know, it's a, yeah, a mixture between all this, I don't know, different... Um, groups that we listen to and yeah I don't know maybe you want to continue yeah we, we we really love experimenting with stuff like our newer songs are going more into a death metal direction because we started like not being experienced in death metal at all and now we kind of get like our own touch to it and it's pretty fun to like yeah, experiment with that a lot so it's more like progressive death metal but we have like only a few songs that have like a clear chorus and stuff because we don't like doing this so much. I know it won't sell as much <laughs> as if, if we did like just melodic death metal, but yeah, right now we're like really experimenting and also recording some songs soon and that's pretty much, yeah, like influence. Porcupine Tree also, we like that you don't have like the boundaries of being like verse, chorus, verse, this, uh, yeah, we like nine minute songs, we like that stuff, <laughs> yeah. Okay, and uh, how important are lyrics in your music and where does the inspiration oh. for those come from? Oh, yeah, I, I write the lyrics and for me, sometimes I tell, I, like, I show a song to a person and like, I'm like, yeah, I love the lyrics and they're like, oh, I didn't notice the lyrics. And for me, it's like, if someone doesn't listen to the lyrics, for me, it's like so important that the lyrics make sense and that they make me feel something. Like, I think you can sing like the most beautiful thing, but if you have nothing to say, it's like... It kind of gets lost, and for me, lyrics are very important. And I'm still growing, like as a songwriter, because English is not my first language, but I write in English because I've always listened to English music. So I'm like, I like the vibe and the sound of the language much more. 
So I'm like always improving my lyrics and sometimes I go back to old lyrics and I'm like, oh my God, what have I done? And also we have one song where I like pronounce the word wrong and that's like, we had to go back and fix that. <laughs> yeah, but for me it's like important. I get like also open, I like the lyrics because they're kind of obscure and I don't know if it's because they're Swedish, but they use really like weird words. Like I used, I wanted to do that too. And then I realized, okay, I just like take less and make the words count more. But yeah, like kind of obscure lyrics and I want to bring that into my songs. Like when you hear the lyrics, you have a picture on your mind. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, uh, everybody of course loves to box things. So um, every metal band has to have their own category. So what yeah. music <laughs> category your band falls into? Um, maybe okay. progressive death metal. Yeah. <laughs> it's jazz. <laughs> it's jazz with double, no it's not, it's not. <laughs> Progressive death metal, yes. yeah. Oh god, <laughs> there's the box. <laughs> okay, you're you know uh, young people, and the band is uh, very fresh. Uh, how hard it is nowadays out there for new bands to get <laughs> forward and uh, do things? I mean, it's still on a, like an amateur level, so we are not professionals yet, but. Um, until now, I think it was not so hard for us because there are quite a lot of uh, organizers and people who really want to support young bands. So um, to get uh, kind of and the opportunity to play at different events, I think it's it, most of the time it comes by itself that somebody asks us or something. So once we organized the concert by ourselves and it also went really well, but of course um, we are not still are still not making um, a lot of money out of it so it's just more um, we are having like a, a putting all the money in some in a box and then we can pay studio recordings from that but it's not not our profession yet so we will see how it works in the professional level then <laughs> okay and uh, how do you see the Berlin uh, metal scene or do you have much uh, touch with the scene in here yeah, of course, like the metal scene is rather small, but um, I think like in Germany there's a bigger metal scene than you have like in other countries because like maybe it's because it's colder, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because in, in Finland and Sweden you have like the biggest metal scene and I, the warmer it gets, the less <laughs> metal, metal bands there are, so we're kind of lucky we have like Power Wolf and, <laughs> and bands that make like the German metal scene like really shine. But there are like some metal concerts and venues and that's it's always full, but it's like Berlin is like always techno, so you can't compete with that definitely. And it's like it's okay because metal is not about being mainstream. That's not what they're trying to be. But I think it's it's okay if we would live like in a smaller town. I don't know how it's there. No, I can't. I can't really say. But it's not as big. But we're kind of enjoying that it's at least in Germany, and that there are a lot of metal fans. I mean, Wacken is in Germany, so there's a bigger scene here, obviously. Yeah, but we haven't seen so many other venues around the world, so we can't say where it's like fuller. That's why. Maybe we will see in the future. Okay, and what are your future plans for the band? Are you, for example, hitting the <laughs> studio or releasing something soon? Yeah, we are hitting the studio soon. Um, like, I'm, I'm not going to be part because I have my tonsils taken out at the beginning of December, but they're going to be in the studio, and the next year I'm going to do the vocals. So we're recording four songs, I think. Yeah, three. three. Yeah, the the thing is that like one song is like nine minutes, so <laughs> it takes it takes more time to record it. Yeah, and and the year yeah, after what you wanted to play at Buck, and that was the plan, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. No, I'm just kidding. But we know some people who did, and it's it's pretty cool. But yeah, we need the recording so we can send it to people and be like, hey, you want us as a support band, and then we can look where it goes from there. That's the plan, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, until now we only have uh, like two singles released, but we want to have a real EP with four songs, for example, so yeah, that we have something to not, yeah, not only to sell, but also to show, and yeah, so that's why we are going to record something at the end of the year, and then we'll see. <laughs> Okay, and uh, in a broader sense, uh, what kind of dreams do you have with this band? What would be like the dream come true with this band? <laughs> 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 
und backen. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, it would be really cool to do this professional, but yeah, it's very hard to get there. Yeah. Mm, my dream were a little tour, maybe only in Germany or Europe. maybe Europe, but that's a bit harder. Maybe Germany first and then Europe. <laughs> and then the rest of the world. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so my dream uh, would be to like, just um, get a, I don't know, a place in the international metal scene where people know, uh, we don't have to get super famous, but just that people know us in different parts of the world or in different parts of Europe so that we can uh, actually tour through Europe and have our concerts sold out or at least like that people are coming to our concerts so that we're just inside the the scene and could possibly live from that or just at least partly live from it so yeah that we inside the metal scene we get a bit, little bit of fame so <laughs> i don't know yeah <laughs> more of this it's, it's always everyone wants to be a musician and it's always hard because yeah you have to I think it takes a lot of time until people start noticing what you do, but I learned that if you like really believe hard in it and you tell yourself, I want nothing more in my life, then you, are, you have more like higher chance to get there. So for me, it's like I want to make music and that's all I'm about and that's all I'm good at, so <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm just giving everything to make it possible and we all do and just playing in front of an audience and having them like sing along to your like to lyrics or like to the guitar melody would be like the coolest thing. Even like starting to be booked as a support band for someone would be like the most epic thing. <laughs> Try not to curse. <laughs> yes. It's okay. <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah. Well, you certainly have the making, so all the best for you and uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.